Hey everyone, Ryan here from NJ Exotic Pets. Here with a little care video about Brazilian short tailed possums. Now I'm here with my friend today, Miser. Everyone say hi to Miser. Now, Miser, like I said, is a Brazilian short tailed possum, and there's a lot of controversy as to how to take care of them uh, in captivity despite the fact that they've been in the pet trade for many decades at this point. But, I'm here to set the record straight. So, first and foremost, what do they eat and how do they eat? So these little guys are insectivores by nature, but they'll eat almost any protein they come across. In the wild, they eat baby birds, baby mice, and even other possums if they give them a chance. They are solitary creatures after all. But, they also enjoy a little bit of fruit here and there, which is why things like this can be used. Snacks, papaya, but they also enjoy little pieces of apple, banana, passion fruit, you name it. Now, bugs like this, dried mealworms, are also good snacks, and their diet should be rounded out with dietary supplements such as calcium and a proper multivitamin. Now, Possum food like this does exist in commercial diets, but you could also feed them things like chicken, turkey, pinky mice, uh, live bugs, and really anything to round out the diet. Now, as far as their living situation, some people like cages, some people like tanks, but they do much better in tanks. They're escape artists, and they tend to either squeeze through bars or figure out how to open latches on cages. Now, for a tank, they may or may not need heating depending on how cool you keep their home. They like it low 70s to high 70s and they don't do well with anything under that. So keep in mind what temperature your house is when you're getting a short-tailed possum. Now, they don't live too terribly long, but they live a nice four years in captivity. So they're a lot of fun to have, a little more fun than a hamster would be, but you know, to each their own. Now next, you see that little miser, I've put him back in a pouch here. In the wild, they construct nests. Now, you can give them nesting material if you'd like, and then you can see if they'll build something in their own little enclosure. But sometimes they do and sometimes they don't in captivity. What's much easier is to offer them a little pouch, whether it be something like this, or, I mean, even an old large sock would do. Uh, so you can really get around it sort of any way you want. But they make wonderful pets, and, hi Miser, you want to say hi? You want to come back and say hi real quick? They make wonderful pets, they're quite cute, and they're just something a little bit different. So, come and check them out, and come and get yours at NJ Exotic Pets.